brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're gonna be working with our 2001 Ford Ranger. We're gonna show you how to remove and replace your license plate light cover. While we're in there, we're gonna show you how to remove and replace the bulb because it's a part of the procedure. If you like this video, please click subscribe. We have a ton more information on this truck as well as many other makes and models. And if you need these parts for your vehicle, you can follow the link down in the description over to 1AAuto.com. Here are the items you'll need for this repair. The lens for our license plate light has been broken off. Fortunately, this is an easy part to change and restore the visibility and safety of your license plate lights to your vehicle. So we have a trailer hitch receiver on here. We're gonna have to reach through that up to the back of the bumper and pull this whole assembly down where we can work on it. We'll grab the socket and what's left of our old license plate lens, twist it counterclockwise and remove it. We'll then push this socket and harness back up through the opening, pull it out the other side at the bumper. So we'll reinstall our license plate light socket into the lens Turn it clockwise to lock it in. Line up these tabs on the back with the slots in the bumper. And snap it into place. As you can see, our new part from 1A Auto is a direct replacement and is identical to the OEM part on the opposite side of the bumper. To remove the cover for the license plate light, we'll take a small flat blade screwdriver. You want to angle in toward the bumper a little, reach through this access hole in the back, and push down until you feel the tab click. Pop it out, remove the assembly from the bumper. Now a quarter turn releases our housing, bulb simply pops out, pop the new bulb in. Reinstall your old housing, or if you're replacing it, the new one will go on the same way. Simply pop it over the socket, turn clockwise to lock it into place. Line up the tabs with the slots in the bumper, and press it in until it clicks. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, please visit 1AAuto.com. Also check out our other helpful how-to as well as diagnosis videos.